Oh boy. Well, he's aggroing. And I killed myself. <laughs> Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Ark Modded Adventures here on the Scorched Earth server. <laughs> Ark comes alive. And uh, you'll notice some construction behind me. And I didn't really, that's not really the purpose of this episode. The purpose of this episode is going to be something else. But um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to extend and enclose my base. Basically, I'm going to take that big garage back there and I'm going to kind of extend it out this way and make it a really big enclosed garage with the Stargate in here and uh, all the base structures in here as well. Uh, just to better secure my dinos, give them a place to live because I've got too many of them kind of laying out here now because they don't really fit in the big garage very well. So I'm going to be working on that kind of off camera. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, and I had to move my taming pin over here for another reason. That's because I was thinking about taming um, maybe a... Al not an al well, maybe an alpha, but uh, 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 getting another elemental uh, dire wolf or wolf or uh, or cat, uh, saber tooth. Uh, so I had the taming pit for that. But anyway, uh, that being said, there was another update to Ark Comes Alive. There were a couple. Um, the first one removed my legendaries. So uh, Smash and Surprise are no more. They are gone. Uh, unfortunately, sadly, I logged in after the update that said he changed uh, the monarch changed the way the legendaries are going to be crafted, and mine disappeared. Oh boy, okay, well, I guess we'll have to make some more someday. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be too sad, except that I had a lot of stuff in the inventories, of course, and, and without warning, they, they vanished, which is kind of a bummer. But we're going to have to uh, get some replacements for some cool dinos, but also in the most recent release that just came out, he introduced something called, well, he's calling them nukes. And I'm going to scroll down here to Art Comes Alive, which is right here, this section right here, and see what I can find. We've got... First of all, the Alpha Wyvern saddle I never learned, apparently. And we've got an Origin Matrix for the uh, Compi or the Origin guy, whatever it is. The Evolution Compi Matrix. Here's the Nuke Launcher and the Nukes. And then the rest of it's S+. So we're going to take a look at that stuff and see what the Nukes are all about. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to see how powerful they are and so forth. So we're going to play with that. Let's run into our crafting area. Come in from the back door here. And see if we can find them. Are they on the ACA workbench? Did I just add them or do I have to recreate the ACA workbench? Probably have to recreate the ACA workbench. <laughs> I have too much stuff on here, guys. Uh, in fact, let me... Um, I've got some crystal I need to get rid of. And some metal and some cementing paste. Those are the big things I need to get rid of right now. Oh, look at the little, little circles. Structures Plus updated. I just noticed its gun has a little crosshair. Cool little crosshair. That's nice. Awesome. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> let's take the, uh, oh, and more stuff can be transferred. Look at that. More stuff can be transferred. Really cool. I didn't even notice that. So we're going to take that from, not the Arc Factory, although, you know, I'll take them from the Arc Factory. Whoa. Weird. It made them all disappear. Did it always do that? It probably did. All right, let's go. It's alphabetical now, which is really cool. Crystal from, well... Let's take it from the ACA bench. <laughs> and cementing paste. It's nice that it's all alphabetical. For a while there, the, some of the new stuff he added, like for Scorched Earth, was down at the bottom. Out of alphabetical order. And by the way, I want to hit 5 to get rid of that so it doesn't keep popping up every time I get out of a dino or something. Alright, so I need to take all of this, all of these materials, and then I need to pick this guy up. And replace them. And hopefully, if this is where we craft these things, they'll appear. This is not... Oh, it is weapons. And you know what? It was probably there before, guys. You probably saw it, and you're like, it's right there! And I just wasn't paying attention. All right, so in weapons, we have, well, firearms. We've got a nuke launcher. It's going to take polymer, metal, cementing paste, and a matrix core. Of course it takes a matrix core. Please don't tell me I need matrix cores. For oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We'll craft 30. Okay, one matrix core crafts 30. At least that's the case. So that's nice. Now, how do we make matrix cores again? That's for one chief of every type and then some metal ingots. And we have to create... All right, well, I'm going to have to kill a bunch of chiefs. And it's harder to kill chiefs now than it used to be. <laughs> uh, they're a little tougher. I don't know that my guy can kill them all. So we're going to have to experiment with that. So we're going we're gonna to see if Goldenrod still has it in him to do the damage. Also, I wanted to show you something. 
Uh, I came in a little while ago. I was in the middle of recording something, so I couldn't tell you then. But uh, I saw in my box here a blueprint for a legendary Indom <laughs> Indominus Rex artifact uh, with really good armor and damage and a note from Scriptar. Uh, saying that he used our Blueprint Crafter, which is one of the mods here, to uh, basically make a Blueprint and make it better and better and better and better. He took the, the best one he could get and gave me the second best one. That's pretty cool. Uh, and he said he compared it to ours, and it's much better than the one we have on our Endom right now. So let's uh, see if we have enough wood to craft this thing and get this on our Endom. 5,000 wood, is that what it took? Uh, well, not even 5,000, but I should have enough to make it. But how come I can't make it? Why, oh, because I didn't put enough on there yet. Okay, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Reset the Builder's Helmet, which you have to do when you uh, log out wearing it. And I should be able to copy the wood across now. There we go. Let's go ahead and craft that. Apparently, the uh, there was never supposed to be a blueprint, really, in the game that you could find for these. So, And you never learned how to craft them. You always get them from killing things. So the uh, requirement was like a stick of wood or something. So it, as it got better and better and better, uh, it got more and more wood as a requirement for it. So I'll stick that in there. I'm going to stick this in here too. Uh, I won't let me stick that in there. It's an extra copy of the prime evolution requirements from the workbench. Because every time you do this, it gives you another one. And now we also got the evolving info note for the evolution compi and all of that stuff. Which is it's cool new stuff. I enjoy it. Just wish the old stuff wouldn't be taken away. <laughs> okay, anyway. Come on down here to our Indom pin, or our pin for big, scary dinos. Ugh. And Mr. America is our best Indom, and he's still got all of his good stats, I think. And sure enough, definitely better armor and better water retention slash melee as well. So that's pretty cool. So that means that this other one that I had should go on Miss America. Okay, in order to do this, I'm going to need two of the cores, and I've already got like ten mantis souls. But I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do two of each of these guys. Here comes the rhino. I should probably heal up. I had a little bit of a fight, a little bit of a scuffle with a powerful Dodorex lord on the way over. Let's see what we can do. He's still doing the damage, and he's still got pretty good armor. So we'll see how tough these chiefs are. All right, buddy. Any time now. Rhino, how fast can I kill ye? How fast can I kill ye? Will you ever spawn? There you go. All right, he hadn't hit me yet. I managed to stun him. He's stunned, guys. I stunned him. He's totally stunned. He's going to shoot me or hit me as soon as he can see me, probably, because I'm hitting at such a weird angle. Wow, he's not aggroing at all. I wonder if there's a bit of a bug going on here. Maybe if you attack them before they hit the ground, they don't aggro? We'll have to experiment with that on the next one. Alright, he's bloody. He's going. This looks like it's going to be fairly easy. For this one, at least. Alright. Give me that kibble. Yeah, he is not aggroing. He is really bloody and not aggroing. I don't like how I knock him back because I can't turn into him. All right, we'll try this. Okay. Come on, bud. Go ahead. Go back into the ether from which you came. From whence you came. Okay, there he is. All right, folks, as a test to see if it was some kind of a glitch because I started attacking before it hit the ground, we're going to do another Rhino. We're going to let it hit the ground and start walking before I attack it, and we'll see if it aggros or not. And maybe there is just a little bit of an exploit here because of a bug, which, uh, you know, he seemed, he looked like he wanted to aggro. Maybe he's trying, because he's turning. Maybe my knockback is just Rendering him... No, because let me, let me back off. Is he going to charge me? No. So it doesn't seem to matter. He uh, he just isn't aggroing right now. Now the big question is going to be, is it is it just the rhino or is it others? I'll have to try with some more. Okay, now we're spawning in the mammoth. So we'll see if the mammoth has got this sort of non-aggro issue, <laughs> we'll call it. Not knowing if it's a bug or what, although I'm pretty sure it's not intended. Let's see. Mammoth, will you attack? 
Nope. You are also not aggroing. Interesting. You know, I wonder if it's related to the fact that this is an old alpha that used to be a prime or something. I don't know. Because Goldenrod did used to be a prime giga and was turned into an alpha when the whole way to get primes was changed into evolution. So he looks pretty easy to kill too. Looks like he's got a lot of bloody bands around his leg right now. Yeah, he's bloody as crazy. Look at his horns. Oh, there he goes. Um, bag? Ah, there's the baby. Goodbye, baby. Uh, really wish I could find the bag. Let's take a look and see if I can find the bag. Oh, here it is. It was right where the baby was, of course. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to try some more, and if any of them aggro, I'll let you know. Yep, even the Giga did not uh, pose a problem. Here's a Giga baby, and you know what? I said I wouldn't do it before, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and tame it, just for the heck of it. It's a, it was a level 580, or 560 or something. Okay, hey, why not? Hey, buddy. It can never grow up. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, one of the drawbacks of the uh, Chief's not aggroing is the bird. It's a little hard to kill him, because he won't come to fight you. Oh, that's interesting. He will fight the, the wyvern, the elemental. He just won't fight the uh, the giga, so it, maybe it is the alpha prime thing going on here. Well, at least he's not, he's not chasing me. No, he's acting like the other ones. He will kind of lash out at first attack, but he's not going to aggro, he's not going to follow. The others were lashing out too, they just weren't following. I don't think I'm going to win this battle. He has more health than I do. And he's doing slightly more damage. Hmm, I really wish I had surprise. Well... You know what I need to do? I think I need to go get my epic RG, because he's doing a lot more damage than this guy is, so... I'll be back. Did I say epic RG? Of course I meant my prime RG. Now, nah, where are you? There you is. Hello, Mr. Chief. Am I doing more damage to you with this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a saddle on this guy, so you're doing nothing to me. All right, this we can probably do. All right, all the Chief's dead. It is now nukes time. I've also got some minus touches. I farmed some uh, godlings. And we're going to try to upgrade our weapon if it's possible to do so. So here's the nuke launcher. Let's go ahead and craft that. And it turns out I actually had some more matrix cores in here. I completely forgot I made them a long time ago. Haven't used them because there was nothing really to use them for. Um, so I can make... Does this require two matrix cores? No, just one. Let's just make one nuke right now because I don't know how good this is going to be or anything like that. So we'll see what, what, what happens. Okay. There's that. And this. Let's put this on zero. It's actually empty. The rest of this stuff out of my inventory just in case. I don't really want uh, anything to accidentally be upgraded. In fact, let's take my armor off as well. Let's go ahead and go into my just my inventory so it's easier. Okay. Minus touches. That looks like a vanilla. So let's see if we can upgrade it. Use? No. Use? No. Darn it, come on. Two more. Oh, one more. Come on. Upgrade. Oh, man. Didn't upgrade. Do I have to assign those? I do. Go ahead and put my armor back on. And now we're going to test these things out. Seven, eight. Well, that goes one, so we're going to go ahead and put that on five. Uh, zero, I guess. Five, th four. <laughs> Three, nine, and six. I guess we can put that on two. All right. We have a bunch of nukes. Just in case I kill myself, though. Now nah, I can make more. <laughs> 30 nukes. Okay, you know the first thing I want to do. First of all, in case I do kill myself or kill the animal I'm on, let's take an animal out there I don't really care about, like the Speed Lord. I just don't, I don't care about the Speed Lord. He's just he's he's a he's a he's a nothing. He's he's not that awesome. Um, more melee. 
More health. What does he have already? Five million? Oh, yeah, more melee. Probably should have given him speed. I don't know. He's yeah, actually he's he flaps his wings slow, but he moves pretty fast. All right, I'm gonna test it out on a friendly creature first. It's the first thing I want to see because remember I tamed that little baby Giganto or not Giganto Giga. There it is, the little baby Giga. Um, I'm gonna land up here if I can. Oh, cool, I can. Now, can I can I stay up on the rooftop? I can. Oh boy, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, rocket launchers normally don't go that far. So I'm kind of curious if this one will go there. Let's see. Oh. Well, that was... It went off. Pretty impressive. Let's see if it can kill something. Oh, man, I'm probably going to hit myself here. Can I walk back up here? I think I can. Well, even if I can't, no biggie. How about you? Oh, well, no. How about you? Oh, reload. Yeah, rocket launchers, of course. Will it kill the epic rhino? Uh, no. Not in the least will it kill the epic rhino. And I don't want to be within range when it goes off, I don't think. And I can't get up there. <laughs> well... Do we want to see what happens if we're in range? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, I think that just went off on me, and it did not kill me. Interesting. Was it my armor that protected me? That's quite possible. I can't get back up there, really? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. All right. Well, let's test the theory then that it doesn't actually hurt me. Like, you can stop moving now. There's a Rex. Let's go see. Hello, Rex. Oh, went right past him. Oh! It did kill the Rex. It came all the way back and killed the Rex. Well, that's interesting. That's just a regular Rex, though. It's not doing a ton of damage. It said it's like a really powerful, powerful weapon, but that's not what I'm seeing. Oh, hang on. There's a rhino on me that doesn't like me. Uh, let us see. Hello, rhino. Hello, epic rhino. Come here, please. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do any damage to me. Probably because of my armor. But it finally killed the rhino. Oh, Okay, so it just takes multiple shots to kill something. It's 81,000 damage plus something else, too. There's like like radius or splash or something. Or maybe I killed two things. We need one thing that we can focus our fire on. I guess that rhino. What am I talking about? Okay. You. Get over here. Reload. Oh, 54. Kill the rhino. Kill that one rhino. Let's see about you. They, they travel really slowly, don't they? 81 and 24. Yeah, it's not bad at all. How many more do we have? 21? What's the durability on this thing? Pretty good. All right. <laughs> Let's see what else we can kill. Okay, so we just had a bunch of experience fighting a, a number of chiefs so i'm gonna spawn a mantis chief don't ask me why i have tons of mantis chief souls i didn't really need a mantis chief but we're gonna see actually they don't aggro do they well maybe they'll aggro to the nuke i don't know right now they're a little bugged we're gonna see how long it takes to kill a chief um well that chief reacted he didn't come over here that guy wants me <laughs> that guy wants me I'm going to waste them all defending myself against Moralatops. Get over here. Oh, here comes the chief. Oh. Oh, he hitting me. He hitting me. Oh, he hit. He hitting. Uh, okay, Lord, you can, uh, or, yeah, Speed Lord, you can, you can engage here anytime you like, please. 
Uh, Speed Lord, you can engage anytime you like, please. Oh boy. Well, he's aggroing. And I killed myself. <laughs> oh, look, the Speed Lord finally did something. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm back here. He's not aggroing me right now. Let's go ahead and use Corpse Finder real fast. All right, there's my corpse. There's my Jerboa, who can never die because he is the cockroach of Ark. He will always survive the apocalypse. All right, take all of this stuff. Uh, whoops, don't do that. Put my armor back on. Do -do 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 -do. My rocket launcher is still good to go. And um, for some reason, he just didn't want to attack. Don't get it, but all right, he, he, he did something, buddy. Thank you, I guess. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere the Mantis... Well, I was going to say the Mantis can't get, but he can get. Hey, we might die multiple times. Let's just do it. <laughs> Here it comes. Oosh. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. I don't know what my health is. I have no health meter. What are you attacking? Oh, you're getting food. <laughs> you keep running back to get food. This is interesting. Well, at least we know the Mantis is... Uh, is oh, he's getting food to heal. Duh! Because I'm hurting him. So he's healing. I really like how the Speed Lord doesn't do anything to help me. <laughs> oh, now they're coming. Evo's coming now, too. There we go. Speed Lord and Evo are a little upset now. At least it doesn't do friendly damage. I can just fire into the mess here. Yeah. Oh, I probably missed that one. That won't do any damage, I imagine. Evo is just too fast. I don't know if he's getting any hits in at all. Oh, out of ammo. Man. Alright. Well, it looks like the Speed Lord's going to die. That's probably fine. Uh, let's get on the Speed Lord, actually. If I can. Oh, Desert Chief has been defeated. Alright. They did their job after I weakened them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. What's that? Oh, is that an epic? What is that? It's fighting something of mine. What's of mine over there? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's probably tamed by one of the other guys. I think Game Shark is on right now. Yep. Following Game Shark. Cool. That must have been the battle music I heard earlier before my battle. I was a little curious what was going on. Very cool. I'll just get Evo and get them all back. Oh, hello. Stupid, stupid terror bird. Get over here. You deserve to die. There you go. All right, folks. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.